So the Olympics happened, and I said I'd do an update on the Jews who won. So here I am, back in the bathroom. Let's get it. However, first, I just want to say, we fucking did it. USA, baby. Not this time, China. Whew. First off, let's talk about some of the Jews that I missed. Okay, starting with Team USA. We have Adrian Sternlicht, USA, equestrian jumping. We have Jacqueline Dubrovich, USA fencing. These are the people who didn't do... Oh. I was going to say who didn't do shit, but who lost? You know, they're Olympians, they're professionals, they did it. A lot of fencers. Jack Hoyle, also fencing. Nicole Ross, also fencing. Jeffrey Gluckstein, gymnastics. Sam Mattis, discus. Okay, that's it for the U.S. that I missed. Then from Australia, Nathan Katz, judo, Steve Solomon, 400 meter. And then, this is cool, we have Camilla Giorgi, who's Italian, and she does tennis, and she lost to another Jew, who I also didn't mention, but who meddled, so I'll mention it later. Okay, now let's go to the winners. So, first off, Starting with Team USA. Obviously, Sue Bird did it again. Did it again. Gold medal. Five time, baby. Bring it home. Yeah, I was surprised that Japan made it that far, too. And we did it. We beat France. And Frank played. And he wasn't bad. You know, hit the three. They let him get a dunk. He did airball that one shot, but he got a steal. Yeah, that's my man. Alex Kleinman was rewarded for her trouble with a gold medal in bikini volleyball. Nick Itkin, I did not mention before, but he is a fencer, and he got a bronze with the U.S. fencing team lit. And that is all the USA Jews who got medals, but still, two gold medals and a bronze, that's nice. That's better than some countries. And we are a nation. <laughs> anyway, on to Australia. So, Jessica Fox, the, the, the world's greatest paddler from Australia, got a golden canoe and a bronze in kayak. And apparently everyone is hyped because she did something with a condom. I don't know. That's what they say. Then, on to the Ukraine. Elena Svitolina. Svitolina. Got a bronze in tennis. And she's who I was talking about earlier. She played Camilla Georgie. And beat her. And got the bronze. So that's dope. A little, you know, two, two Jews enter, one Jew leaves. <laughs> no, we're all winners. We're all winners. Both the Russians who I mentioned meddled. Lilia Akamikova. You know, that one. She got a gold in the team 
all around. Unfortunately, beating the U.S. to get there is the whole Simone Biles thing. And then Aslan Karatsev, also from Russia, got a silver in mixed doubles tennis. No Canadians meddled. On to Israel. So, like I said in the previous video, Avishab Semberg won bronze in Taekwondo. Artem Jogelplat. I was low-key foul to him. Not just because of his goofy name. But I, I don't think anybody saw that coming either. He won gold in... Uh, artistic gymnastics floor exercise, I think. Then we all got to hear from his mom. And his mom was bringing up the, the issue of he can't get married to his girlfriend because it's some fucking Jewish supremacy law <laughs> that's trying to prevent him and his girlfriend from getting married because he's not halakhically Jewish or something. Which is dirty. Cut that shit out, Israel. This man won a gold medal for you in, in gymnast dancing. He was awesome. Chill out, Mom. She was awesome. I want grandkids. Tell me that's not Jewish as fuck. Let this man get married and make some Jewish grandkids. And finally, we have rhythmic gymnastic Lenoy Ashram. She won the gold as she was stated to be the best hope of Israel to win gold. But apparently, there is some controversy. Because the Russians think it was a robbery. And they asked the International Olympic Committee to pass on the gold medal to their person, Dina Averina. I didn't watch that shit. But eat my ass, Russia. No way I'm going to give you my fucking gold medal. And the Israeli judo team won bronze. I'm not going to list their names. There are a lot. But, uh... Might put them on the screen or something. Overall Jewish Olympic medal count. Uh, six gold, one silver, five bronze. Which is pretty good. You know, a lot of countries don't do that good. Well, in my Olympics madness, I found out several cool things. In 1992, the number one group in most medals and most gold medals was International Athletes United or something. It was made up of former Soviet athletes who were still competing together because the Soviet Union had just collapsed a few months prior. That's cool. Also, Soviet-wise, if you keep going back, they were fucking nice. Oh my goodness. But you know who was really nice? East Germany. Wow. Wow. There's years where East Germany by themselves fucked the United States up. What were we doing? What were we doing? Again. It's hot as fuck in here. But yeah, now Olympics is over. Real videos coming soon. Yeah. I'm gonna talk about, uh... Romanio Jews. A whole bunch of Jews. There's a lot of Jews. We'll get to them. In the meantime, my 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 four year patriotism cycle is evading. Oh, but by the way, the fucking Olympic baseball, that was dope. I loved that. I loved that. It was a great final game, you know? One nothing till the very end, and Japan got the second one. You know, I wasn't even mad. I wasn't even mad. Japan, you deserve this. You set up all this Olympic shit. And then got finessed. By Corona. 